high to low cable press, goblet squat, offset push. God, I'm gonna die. What's happening, guys? So, this is part of my new program. This is called the movement stage of the, my new program. We'll go into a little bit of more depth as to why it's new. But at the moment, I am doing three rounds on the assault bike, 90 seconds. So, starting off with a nice slow pace, then an intermediate pace and then finishing with a high pace. And then I have a calorie count that I have to aim for. So I'm around 75 calories I'm trying to aim um, to burn off on this. And then I've got a load more other stuff. So it's gonna be a busy workout today. Completely different to anything I've ever done before in terms of training. So the reason for this is my, my shoulder has been giving me some real issues over the last kind of couple of years since the first round done it's really time to fix it so doing a lot more stuff to help my shoulder kind of get back to where it should be so at the moment my shoulder is lying to the front so it's not sitting where it should be so there's a lot of movements especially in this session to try and um, rectify that as much as we can so it's a bit wild it's a bit weird we'll go into a little bit more depth later on i will get on with my intermediate Round now and start to sweat profusely. Oh, one more round after this, mate. This should be normally me finished. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so sore. So on top of the kind of fundamental training, kind of analysed things and had a look back at competitions this year and I lose a few points on on grip that cost me a few points so I'm going to be incorporating grip training two times a week so we'll go over that later on as well so the gods of grip have sent up some stuff which was really nice of them working with a kind of grip coach as well so I need to be selfish that's basically what I have to do I have to focus on myself for the next year or two however long I've got left in strongman that's why I've made this decision to, to kind of change things up a wee bit. I kind of owe it to myself. I've not been very selfish in my training over the last few years. So with the time I have left, I hope I can do something really, really good over the next couple of years. I'm really excited to get started. <sighs> last one. High intensity. 90 seconds. Yeah, Again, with this shoulder, when we're doing tests, my internal, my external rotation is kind of non existent. My left one is a bit better. It can open up a little bit more, but it's not the best. So that's what I'm trying to do just now. And that's what the new coaching thing is. To try and rectify that because it kind of hampers me a lot on a lot of stuff. So. so the last one is like a little superset. We've got high to low cable press goblet squat, offset push-ups, and banded overhead press. Jeez. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yeah. oh, that's a sore one, that one. Oh, Jesus. Just watch that camera doesn't get through. So that left one, the right? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Well, that shoulder is a bad one, aye, so it feels a lot harder. Oh! Oh, that was heavy. So you can see when I'm doing the mace, I'm better on this side when I pull it down. So this shoulder feels a lot better than this one. So this is the, they're both not very good. Internal, external rotation is a little bit rubbish on both of them, but especially on this one. So that's why we're going really light in the behind the neck, um, behind the neck press, because this shoulder's not too bad, but this one, you can see, you can see if the, the forearm position is still, I guess, I don't know, 10, 15 degrees from zero. With, when I put it back to zero, that's where the pain starts really bad. But there, there's no pain. With that one, there's no pain. So that, that's almost past zero. So it's just trying to even that out, get their shoulder to open up. Um, and there's a lot of work to be done. But we'll get there. I'm really excited to start the new, the new program. Very sore though. Like that, the warm up stage, or the, the movement stage as it were, is really tough. But then you've got to do, you know, you've got to do the strength stuff. And then after is like the, the post workout, you know, the, the cool down, whatever you want to call it. Still a lot to do. And then some breath work as well. So we'll get there. Slowly but surely. I'm just going to stick with 40 kilos. So my first, set if you were it was just with an empty bar just because i haven't done this for a very long time just gonna stick with 40 and then maybe for the last one go up to 60. we'll just see how it goes but not want to push it too much today It's weird that man. One more would be proud. That's bonkers that one. Jesus, that's good. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's wild, man. Oh, jeez. Jingles, mate. Come on. Let's see if the gummy rates any better. See, that's so much worse, isn't it? So I can see the difference in them. 
and both shoulders again on that right one because it's pulling down so much I can't lower myself down hopefully we'll get lower and lower uh, each week and I guess that's just a lot of wins isn't it the, if I can get that shoulder opened up <coughs> which is where I should be in my pressing position hopefully that'll improve the pressing so behind the neck a tough one oh. okay guys that was a little training session I just did hope you enjoyed it it was it was quite intense so it's a, a completely new format of training for me um, and a lot of you guys have been seeing you know asking about you know if I'm still getting coached by Dan who my coach is am I getting coached etc etc so um, I was with Dan uh, all up all this season and I've made the decision to step away from Dan. Um, nothing personal, it's more just as a um, personal reason for me obviously, um, but still love Dan, still think he's a really good coach. Tom and Dan are still working together, um, but what I've noticed along the way is that I feel I need more for me. Um, you know, Tom is his own athlete, I'm my own athlete. And sometimes Tom and I are guilty of kind of combining together and training together um, and similar, you know, training styles, coaching styles um, along the way as well. So for me personally, I need to take accountability for myself um, and let Tom do his own thing and then I need to do my own thing as well. So that's why I've, you know, wanted to reach out to another coach and start working, um, working for myself, I think, because, you know, Everyone keeps saying, I'm old, blah, blah, blah. I know that, I'm getting on a wee bit. Um, so I've maybe got two or three good years left in Strongman. Um, and I owe it to myself to really, you know, get these kind of training sessions, get the specific coaching specifically for me, just to think about me, because I think I have sacrificed a lot over the last few years in terms of, you know, working with Tom, working with uh, a coach that we're getting both trained by, and maybe that's, um, it's got me some amazing results, you know, winning Europe's Strongest Man, the World Tour final, finals of World's Strongest Man, third place in Arnold's, you know, that's amazing. You know, finishing on the podium at Arnold's is pretty awesome, even though I didn't get an invite this year. I think that's granted. Um, my performance wasn't that good this year. Um, but I think that's because of last year coming back from last year's time off, coming into this year. I needed this year to kind of get the feel for things. And, you know, the last couple of competitions went really well. I was quite happy with things. Um, but with the new coaching, it's almost a fresh set of eyes, you know, you need to come in, analyse things, be a bit more critical in my training, what's your weaknesses, so that's what I've been asked for, what's my weaknesses, what do I need to improve on, um, where do I want to be, so it's actually looking at myself in the mirror and thinking, right, you aren't the complete package yet, what can we do to, to kind of push on it and make that the complete package, so uh, really excited and we're going to showcase a lot more of training um, through the oncoming you know, prep for the competitions. Um, so really excited and hope you guys can can appreciate the move. Um, and, you know, big shout out to Dan for, for training me for so long. He, he was, you know, a great coach and 
Um, I think he'll be a great coach for Tom. And I think it'll probably bring Tom on even more as well, that Tom can just, you know, have Dan as, as that kind of coach now rather than, you know, go between the two of us. Also, you know, you can a lot of guys have been asking as well or mentioning my retirement. Um, and that's probably because I've talked about it. And um, I think as, as athletes, we go up and down in, in sport, you know, as professional athletes, we, we, we either love doing what we do or sometimes we take a little dip or then we get back up or down and up and down and up. And um, for me, um, with my, my mentality, that's what I do. I'm, I'm quite manic in, in my mood swings as well. And that kind of relates to strongman competitions as well. So I'm all in sometimes and then I'm like, oh, I'm a bit of a downer. Um, and that's, that's how my mental state is as well. So... Um, waffling a little bit but the big question is am I retiring retiring yes but not anytime soon like that is that is the honest opinion that I have for myself I still think I'm one of the best strong men in the world I truly believe that I still have a lot to prove to myself um, and with the addition of my son coming along I want to prove to him that his dad is one of the strongest men in the world still so um, I'm not going anywhere soon um, whether or not you want me at your show or not, I'm still going to be there. I'm still going to be training. You know, I love competing, love competing at Arnold's, love competing at Rogue, love competing at World's Strongest Man. Huge passion for Giants Live shows. I think they're amazing. Um, and obviously the Shaw Classic as well. So um, if I get invited to these shows, I will be doing them 100%. Um, I'm really excited to, to explore the new coaching method and just see what that brings. Um, the training is exceptionally hard. It went from maybe training for an hour tops um, to now I'm kind of in the gym for about three hours a, in a session, which is ridiculous. So Kushi gets a little bit frustrated at that, but she's very understanding, even though she's heavily pregnant. Um, so with that being said, yes, I've got a new coach. Yes, I've stopped working with Dan. Yes, I am retiring, but not anytime soon. So I hope that's cleared up some stuff. Thank you for watching. Coming up, you may have noticed we've been across in Iceland training with the mountain himself, Mr. Hafthor Bjornsson. Um, it was a really nice trip and we've recorded that, so there's going to be a few videos from that. Obviously, Arnold is coming up, huge lineup. Hafthor is coming back. We've got Big Tom, Martins is back, Matthias, Mitchell Hooper, all the big guns will be there. Um, so it's going to be a huge show down there. Really excited for that. I know Tom will be training exceptionally hard. It has been really busy. It's been super hectic the last little while. Um, we are looking forward to some downtime and getting back into routine um, and really focusing on the first competition of the year, which will be Britain's Strongest Man. So that'll be really good. Events have just been announced, actually. We aren't going to tell you, um, but we know them. They're OK. I don't know. Um, that's all I can say. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a really exciting show. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video, which will be one with Thor. Awesome collab. And as always, please smile, stay safe, and most importantly, please stay spicy. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding-a-ling.